Hello, and thank you for taking interest in the WeSim Cutting Shop CAD CAM software. This video, video will show a quick demonstration of the simplicity and ease of creating a simple sign using WeSim. The first thing we're going to do is open up our WeSim software. Then we'll click on the Cutting Shop icon, which will open up Cutting Shop to allow us to draw our artwork type sign. We're going to create a new file. And basically this sign is going to be a rectangular sign with some filleted corners and some text on the inside. Just a basic sign for those who may make signs in their plasma. To create a rectangle, I'm going to double click using the rectangle tool. And a 20 by 10 rectangle is what I'm going to use. I'm going to view, zoom all, to view my entire drawing here. And go ahead and fill it my corners. By double clicking, I can set my corner radius. My corner radius is set at 1, so I'm going to leave it set at 1 for this part only. Then by simply clicking on the entities you'd like to fill it, it is automatically done for you. The next thing to do is to insert text into the sign. By inserting text, all you must do is click on the text button and double click into the perimeter you'd like to insert the text into. This sign will be a simple road sign. I'm going to center this and adjust my font properties. Here I've shown you all the different possibilities with font. For this sign, we'll simply use an aerial type font. Inch and a half letters would be a good size, I believe. Click OK. After clicking OK in the, in the text plot dialog, text will then appear on the screen. By using the move tool, you can move things one of two ways. You can drag it, or you can move things on a coordinate plane, just like you would in a CAD building. By setting our rectangle to zero, zero, we'll then move our rectangle, then we can move our font. To center this, our X will be on 10, And our Y will be on 5. Completely centering our sign inside the workspace here. All you have to do now is convert this text to polylines and bridge the parts that have into your cuts. For instance, we might want to make this caution a little bit bigger. Now that we've made that a little bit larger, we can now change the size of this if we'd like, and then bridge our sign. Double clicking lets you check the size of your bridge tool, which 0.15 is usually okay. Here we simply go around the part and bridge the spots that need to be bridged. Now, <clears throat> the drawing part of our sign is finished. All I must do now is save this sign away and bring it into WeSim to put the toolpath on it. We're going to save this as a AutoCAD DXF file. 
and simply click save. Once we close off the, 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 the cutting shop software, it will ask us if we would like to save the changes to the cutting shop file. For this instance, I'm just going to say no. Here you can see WeSim automatically opened up an import CAD drawing dialog box with, with a few different parameters here. It's asking for your machine, your tool setup, your material inventory, and your layer setup. You can also put in the customer's name and the customer's order or PO number, or the customer's order, order due date. For this, I'm going to program this from my DynaTorch machine using a 60 amp tool setup with a 4x8 sheet or quarter inch plate with a 60 amp layer setup. And simply click OK. Here you can see it's brought our sign in and automatically tooled it up. From here, all we have to do is bring it into nesting if we want to make more. If we do not want to make more, we can simply add our lead ins to this part and generate code for the file. For this instance, we're going to bring it into nesting. So I'm going to save this sign and open this up in nesting, starting with a new project. Give this a name and click save. <clears throat> Here we can change some of the attributes and variables for nesting. For instance, our web size or the placement of the grid. All this is it's just the standard way that nesting works. This is the way I like to demonstrate it for you. From there, you go to parts, and you add which parts you'd like to add on the sheet. By selecting an MM2 file, which is the file that we send saves as a tooled up part, you simply click and select OK. From here, I want to fill the sheet with that, as many parts as I can. So I'm going to set my quantity to negative one and my rotation to four and click apply. Here you can see that our part is still the same. We're about, we're almost ready to nest it. For this part, I'm going to put it in a rubber band box, which puts the part inside a rectangle and allows for faster nesting. Next we go to our material, select our quarter inch plate <clears throat> in a 4x8 size, right click and select add to process order. From here we click build. And as you can see it's laid our parts out on a sheet, getting the most out of the sheet it possibly can and those parts it can possibly get as well. If we window up on a part, you'll notice it's automatically put our lead ins on the part for us, and it's ready to be generated into a G code file. To generate it into a G code file, all you have to do is click on our CNC code generator. Set your feed rate if you'd like to do that here, or you can do that on your machine in your control software. You can select your corner direction, it's completely variable. You can also change the sequencing of the part. Containment order, preset tool order, the process flow chart. For most of the time on a plasma, these, you will use process flow chart. There's a few different process flow chart parameters you can select. Here I can select where I want to save the file. And click save. Then click OK. We have successfully coded a part using WeSim. We've also drawn a part, nested a part, tooled a part, and added lead ins to the part as well. So if we close off WeSim, it will ask us if we would like to save this off the part. We're going to say yes. And using a CNC machine control software, I can open the file up here.
Here's our file, caution.cmc. You open it up, you can see that everything is finished, and you can even demonstrate how the parts are going to cut. And as you can see, it's nesting them on a zigzag pattern to keep the material cool. This is the basis of We Sim and Cutting Shop software. Thought I would just give you a quick demonstration and how easy and fast programming actually is for a plasma machine. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I look forward to hearing from you in the future. You can contact us at 256-737-3075. And thanks again for taking interest in the WeSim software package.